Alessandrina was the recipient of heavenly inner locutions in which she could feel our Lord Jesus speak to her. She had been sharing the gift of the passion of Jesus every Friday, 180 consecutive times. When in 1942 it stopped, the Holy Week of 1942, the passion ecstasy stopped altogether. But her pains became unbearable. She was nauseous constantly. She developed a voracious hunger and thirst, yet she couldn't hold any food in her stomach. Milk and some mineral waters were all she could drink. She thought it was finally the end of her life. This was the beginning of her 13-year fast. She lived on absolutely no food other than the Eucharist for 13 years. However, unlike many of the Eucharistic fasters that we have written about, Alexandrina never lost her hunger and the thirst that she experienced on that Holy Thursday in 1942. It stayed with her all the time. She could not take food, but she was always hungry. Now, this was not the Middle Ages, but the middle of the 20th century. It is the fact that no one can live without food, but most especially without water, for more than 20 days. Yet here was a claim that this bedridden girl, after one year of total fasting, was still alive. At the request of her doctor and the local bishop, she submitted to medical observation in the hospital of Oporto, which is a large city near Balasar where she lived. It was supposed to end after 30 days. However, as the ordeal was almost at an end, one of the doctors insisted that his, worse, his nurse watch her for an additional 10 days. This meant 10 days of additional torture. She said yes, but her only requirement was that she be allowed to receive Holy Communion each day. At the end of the 40 days of scrutiny, both doctors, the one who had originated the test for 30 days and the one who had ordered the test to be prolonged for another 10 days, wrote certificates attesting to the fact that Alessandrina had been under 24 hours a day surveillance by impartial witnesses the entire time and that she had not taken any food or drink at any period of that time except the Eucharist. The findings also stated that during this period of observation, she had maintained her weight. Her blood pressure, breathing, temperature, pulse were all normal. It was determined that there was no scientific or medical explanation for this extraordinary and exceptional case. Our Lord Jesus appeared to Alessandrina and explained to her what science could not. You are living solely by the Eucharist, because I want to prove to the world the power of the Eucharist. 